The Lord be with you. Uh, this is section three, uh, framing the vision. Uh, and so, you know, I, I hopefully I laid out the seven steps to this. And again, I see this as an iterative process of, you know, kind of going back and forth between these. And, you know, the main thing that I'm looking for, and I'm, I'm having trouble with this, is uh, finding resonance, you know, finding what the words and the pictures that resonate with you as a council, as the leaders of King of Glory Lutheran Church. Uh, you know, if, if you don't resonate with this, we can try something else. Uh, you know, what, what it takes to get there. And I'm not sure where, where the hang up is. Uh, if, if it's, you know, this isn't what you're looking for, or if we're still trying to do church like we used to and get different results. So we're on step number three right now with the framing of the vision. And so The, the, the frame is, you know, kind of the who, what, when, where, why, how questions. So, you know, we'll start with the mission. Uh, the mission of the church is given by Jesus. He calls us to, you know, make disciples of all nations. Uh, a disciple being an apprentice of Jesus, that is, we're to become little Jesuses or Christians, you know, adherents of the Christ. Uh, we're to be shaped and molded and guided into the, the thinking of Christ, the mind of Christ, the actions of Christ, uh, were to be little Christs, little Jesuses walking around, uh, to be kings and priests here on earth. That's the mission. And the question is, what do we do to do that? That's the what, you know, this is what we do to make disciples at King of Glory Lutheran Church. Uh, the other side of the frame, the values question, you know, why do we do what we do? You know, this is our, our motives. This is our motivation. And again, that's going to be different uh, for e each individual, but it's going to be different for each church. And so I'm looking for the motivations that just really fire you up, that really get you going, that make you say, hey, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, the strategy question, you know, how are we doing what we do? Uh, this kind of gives us a map, kind of a, a bit of a, a GPS. And the measures question, uh, when are we successful? Uh, and successful in the sense of doing what God has called us to do. Uh, these are the marks of the, uh, of the steps. And then the, the vision proper, the where is God taking us? Uh, and, and again, I look at all these things, up. it fires me up you know, to have an answer to all of these questions. Because right now, uh, you know, other than, you know, the basic generality of this is what all Christians are called to do, and the generality of we're Lutherans, I'm not giving up the sacraments. You know, I'm not going to change my view on baptism. Uh, that's part of how we make disciples. You know, we baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm not giving that up, but how do we go about doing that? And I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, so here's the frame, uh, the, the four sides of the frame, the vision proper being, you know, the where God is leading us over the next 5, 10, 20 years. And I do think we need to look that far down the road, even if none of us are going to be here. Uh, so the measures question, oh, I'll start with the mission question, you know, the what we do to make disciples of Jesus Christ. Uh, and this is, you know, it's one or two or three things that we do the why we do it, the values question, and then the strategy question, how do we do what we do? And the, the measures question, uh, when do we know we're successful? You know, because I hear things like planting, planting seeds, and it seems to me we're, we're okay with planting seeds, even if we're not planting very many seeds, and even if there's no vegetables growing. Uh, we, we seem to consider ourselves successful just because we've done whatever it is that we've done. All right, so, you know, I was beginning to think, you know, from our last council meeting, uh, that these very basic questions, you know, the who, what, when, where, why, how question, uh, maybe the first question is the one that's not in the vision frame, which is the who question. Who is it that God is calling us to reach with the gospel of Jesus Christ? 
Who is God calling us to invite into his kingdom? Who is God calling us to, you know, incorporate their, their little stories into our big story, God's big story that he's trying to tell, uh, to, to bring people into the, the joy of the new creation, the, the age to come. Who, who are we to bring the kingdom of God from heaven down to earth where people can experience Jesus as Lord and King and Savior? Who are the people around us that God is calling us to reach? Uh, and I'm wondering if that's the first question we need to ask. And you know, because right now it's kind of like, well, whoever shows up inside of worship on Sunday morning, that's who God is calling us to reach. And then I go, okay, and how are we reaching them? And when do we know we're successful? And, you know, what do we do to reach these people with the gospel of Jesus Christ? So this is how I feel right now. You know, uh, where we're going? Don't know. Who's God calling us to reach? Don't know. Uh, you know, what do we do to reach people with the gospel? Well, what we're already doing and how do we do it? Uh, we just keep doing what we're doing. Uh, and when do we know we're successful? Well, because we kept doing what we're doing. And there's another why. Why do we do it? I know why I'm doing it. Uh, so why are we doing it? Uh, now, let me, let me take a step back. If you're okay and I'm going to do this in a, a separate video, if you're okay with, you know, we'll always get the results we've always gotten, you know, if we always do what we've always done, we'll always get what we've always got. Uh, and if you're okay with being perfectly designed to get the results we've gotten, if you're okay with that, uh, do let me know if you're okay with that. Just continuing to do what we do, just tweaking around the edges. Uh, do let me know. I'm not saying what we're doing is bad. I'm simply saying, uh, well, I'm not sure what I'm saying, other than I think that God has called us to do more. I don't think I moved a thousand miles north, and I don't think God brought me up here, which is huge pain moving uh, and taking a new call. I don't think God brought me up here just so that we can keep doing what we're doing. So, but you let me know if that's what you think. All right. God's peace be with you.